Well, hello there, guys, and welcome to another Pike and Shot campaigns with Gustavus Adolphus, the great Swedish master of war, of course. We're going to go ahead and end the turn here, guys. Now, one thing is very important, and that is that the enemy is, of course, charging us in this battle. We've won two battles before this, and one thing that I'm worried about is the right flank. They're definitely going to win on the right flank, so the plan is here, and actually, uh, several people uh, mentioned this in the chat box, which is a really cool idea, is to go ahead and just leave these guys here let let them basically uh, absorb the charge because we don't really have much to stop that charge from going on. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, of course the enemy's opening up we've got a melee phase two i think so far only the hypopoleta are in battle and there we go we actually broke the enemy commanded shot unit that's pretty awesome and of course they're going to go ahead and chain chase the enemy commanded shot unit we also disrupted this dragoon unit and look at that we're going to be charging with our hypopoleta into some uh, regular hussars i'm not sure if i feel great about that but that's what happens when you chase obviously here we go the guys are moving forward and we want to do everything we can guys, to get the initiative obviously in the gunfight if they get the first shots off they're going to get more damage we want to get the first shots off and we really really, really want to make them work they just got our veteran horsemen to be a bit disrupted just by a, a single flintlock blast uh, i didn't expect that but it is what it is and as you can see they're moving with their cavalry now this is when things can get very serious. I might even move one of my Pike and Trot units to the left to face them, but I'm not sure if we should. Now, again, if we lose this battle, it's not the end of the world, particularly. Uh, we've already won two major battles, and this one is not nearly as big. It, it actually involves one of our weaker armies, but we do want to obviously try to win. Um, so here we go. The enemy's definitely trying to flank us, and we're going to do the same. This is going to work like a We're going to flank them from the right, and they flank us from the left. Uh, it's going to be very interesting, and I don't know who's going to come out the top. Uh, but I do believe that since they have cavalry, they're they're in a much better position than we are. Residual shooting phase. Come on, boys. Get some shots off. Nice. All right, already our men are getting a bit disrupted. And there we go. The Hakapaleta are still fighting with the enemy uh, veteran horse. And I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, it certainly will not well, but... We don't know. Now, it is the Swedish turn. I really wish this veteran horse was not wounded, but he is. Uh, and that really stops my plans for him, essentially. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and use him to charge him. Hopefully break him. And sure enough, we broke the Dragoons, which is pretty awesome. They're veteran horse unit. Uh, we've also got some enemy light Hussars here, and I definitely want to deal with them as well. So let's take a look here. Willing to bet they're going to go ahead and run away. And sure enough, they are evading. Uh, that's to be expected. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of our cavalry ready. Uh, because we are, of course, going to be charging into the enemy line. And actually, this gives us a perfect opportunity to do, to do just that. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to move this guy up too. Uh, and fire some veteran orcs. I'm actually not even sure I should have brought those uh, dragoons up. But, eh, or, or actually, they might be archivists. Let's see. Hussars, sorry. Um, but nonetheless, you know, they should be able to help. And we're moving the rest of this cavalry forward, of course, through the forest uh, in an attempt to also flank the enemy. Now, what I'm really concerned about, obviously, is the enemy flanking maneuver here. And I'm thinking, should I charge these guys? I don't think I should. Uh, I think I should stay put. I think they might be trying to lull me into uh, an attempt at maybe an attack, and I don't want to do that. So we are going to open fire on them. Uh, we'll also keep our infantry here. We're not moving our infantry at all this point, at, at this point. Uh, we're going to stay put and hopefully go ahead and absorb the attack by the enemy. We're definitely going to keep these guys here, uh, right here on the road. Let's try to keep the enemy back. Don't like that our guys are disrupted, but it's just the way it is right now. And the enemy's actually very, very, uh, not 100%, but almost 100%, uh, better equipped than we are in terms of men. You can see that our army's very tiny. It's over here and over here. That's, that's our entire army. The enemy has an army stretching from here all the way here. And don't forget that since this uh, region is still a Catholic region, uh, they're also getting militia units from the population. That's not good. And look at this. Just up. Up staying up for a while. There we go. Get out of here. All right, guys. So melee phase. Um, of course, here we go. Akapaleta, we need your, we need your expertise in this matter. And of course, one of the units is routing. Another unit is routing. Those are all enemy units. So so far, we're doing fine. But uh, trust me, I, I don't think it's gonna go very well because of the amount of. Uh, we need to reinforce the army and really provide them with a nice cavalry. Uh, since they've been in that bloody battle of Bohemia before this. 
they are not in the best of shape. And there we go. We've actually got some reserve pike that are disrupting a little bit. Maybe we could. Who knows? But I'm waiting for what that cavalry is going to do on the right side. There we go. Sure enough, they're charging our units. 23. Oh, they disrupted us too. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, I, I didn't expect our absorption to go very well, but still, 20, you know, nearly disrupt, nearly not just disrupting it, but breaking it in one turn is not going to work out for us. And here we go. The entire enemy cavalry unit. Cavalry units or their Hakapalita. It's not a good idea to charge Hakapalita most of the time. They, they seem to be able to hold their own. This right here is not good. As you can see, the enemy is now directly behind us um, and only going to be increasing that distance as the turns progress. So, we at the very least, if we can't win this battle, um, we could retreat. That is an option. We could also go ahead uh, and just do our best to take as many people with us as possible. So I'm going to let you guys decide to go which we should do or if we should just continue the battle. Uh, I guess I don't. I shouldn't give up yet because there's still a chance, isn't there? Maybe not. And here we go. One of our units just broke. Uh, sure enough, the enemy's going to be chasing them. What's going on here with Nostalita? Nothing so far. Good enough. All right. The Swedish turn. Of course, it's our turn to go ahead. And I'm going to first do an opening attack here. Uh, can we charge? We can, but it wouldn't actually be a good idea. What about over here? Nope. Once again, not a very good idea. Uh, but our Karasier should be able to do a lot of damage. The enemy held pretty well there. That's just kind of annoying. Uh, we're going to charge these Hussars again. They're going to evade again. I mean, the masters of evasion, the Hussars, of course. Let's go ahead. Open fire on the horse unit here. And we actually fragmented them. And we're going to send the rest of our cavalry over here uh, to basically go around the enemy. Kind of like what they're doing to us uh, in the same general area. I'll also move these guys up to the road so that they can get a charge next turn. And let's take a look here. Should we charge? We're going to. The only reason we're going to charge is because we have an 85% chance of a win. Uh, and if we could break that enemy center, then we certainly will. And sorry about the uh, fire engine outside, guys. Uh, the workers of being a streamer in New York City. Uh, so there we go. We are moving our guys up. And like I said, I, I said I wasn't going to attack, but I've broken my promise because we have an opportunity here. Um, and we need to take that opportunity. We know that the enemy's behind us. If we're going to be getting into a fight here with the enemy, we've got to finish this fight quickly. I'm going to go ahead and hit this guy with a charge. That's a reserve pike and shot unit, so he should go down pretty simply, pretty easily, I should say. Uh, I'm going to use this pike and shot to open fire on the enemy cavalry unit, and we'll send this guy behind the enemy. Well, not really behind the enemy, but you guys know what I mean, uh, to try and hit the enemy as much as possible. And yeah, things are not looking good for us at all. Um, but at the same time, miracles do happen. I mean, we didn't think we were going to win that second battle of Bavaria, and we ended up pulling it off. So let's end the turn here. Resistance is still very evenly matched, and of course, with that many enemy cavalry, they can't necessarily get to retreat. Our crosses are doing some damage to the enemy, but they're still managing to hold. And, and the longer they hold on this right side, the less and less likely we are to, uh, to win this battle. Right, we got the raw pike and shot to actually fall back, and of course those are basically, or the reserve pike and shot, those are basically the civilians in the area that support the Catholic cause. Uh, and we're certainly going to be burning down those buildings if there's a uh, damage to win this battle. We'll have to see. I don't think we will, but it's one of the first times that I haven't been utterly totally confident in our victory, which means maybe we should retreat, but I'm not making that decision yet. There we go, absorbing some of the charge. I was worried about. They've now got a cavalry unit flanking one of our pike and shot units, um, and that's not going to be good for anybody but the enemy, of course. Uh, here we go. Come on, boys. And so here we go. More enemy cavalry, of course, making a nice screen here to basically just pull them back and uh, waste our guys entirely. They could have actually attacked directly that turn, but they didn't, which gives us a little more time. I'm not saying that makes that much of a difference. It's kind of like a cat toying with a mouse. He knows he can kill the mouse, but he's just going to play with him to have a little more fun. That's what the enemy is doing to us right now. Uh, they could have easily crushed us that turn on the left side and basically just folded our army in half, but I think they're going to wait one or two more turns. Boys, you guys depend on this shooting. We need you to shoot better than that. There we 
we go. A lot of combat going on between the two sides. Here's some two melee combat. We really want to break that up. Pike and shot unit. If we can break the enemy center, we have a chance. A chance. Remember, I said a chance. Because if we take the enemy center and the enemy right, uh, then all we have to deal with is that cavalry. If we crush this side. And there's a lot of chances of success, of course. All right, there we go. They're fragmenting our veteran horse. The sooner that unit fragments, the sooner our entire line folds and bubbles. So we have to be very careful and very vigilant. There we go. And it, oh, nice. Our veteran pike and shot rally. That's one of the beauties of veteran pike and shot. They are brave men. They will go to hell and back uh, just to serve their lord and commander. Uh, and in this case, let's go ahead. We're going to charge once again. I need to get into uh, close combat with these guys because we need to close the line very quickly in this battle. So let's go ahead. We're going to charge here too. I don't know why this unit down here still hasn't managed to uh, not be disrupted. But we're going to move him up and try to get a shot at the enemy. And not bad. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop here. And, of course, if you want to see the next part of our campaign, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, provide your support for the glorious armies of Gustavus Adolphus. And if you want, provide some advice as to what we should do here because we actually are having some deciding what the next step is maybe and i hate to say this maybe we need to retreat i don't know let me know guys what you think thank you for watching take care and have an awesome and glorious day and there we go we actually auto broke an enemy that's a nice ending to the video beautiful